Hi guys, welcome to Tech Tech Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Monday.com versus Asana. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now we're going to be comparing both Monday.com and Asana together. We're going to be showing you how each of them work and the differences between how they manage their different features. So, we're going to be starting with Monday.com which is the Monday project version where it is very similar to Asana where you can also manage your different tasks and different projects all together. So, let's begin exploring Monday.com first. Now over here as you can see, straightforward, we have a beautiful UI over here. Over here on the left side, you can see your home and your work over here. When you click on your work, you will be able to see this section over here basically where you will be able to see everything that is assigned to you in one single place which is very useful when working for someone else. But if you're the one leading, you will be able to add or assign different tasks to your different team members. But as you can see, this is where you will be able to see. You have your past dates, today, this week, next week, later, without date over here so that you could easily categorize your different things that you would need to work on. Over here, you have your workspace. Right now, I have multi-project over here as my workspace and I have project beta over here. These are the different examples of the different contents I have under my workspace. When I click on this plus option over here, I could add different items to the specific workplace. As you can see here, I could add a single project, project requests and approvals, new board, new docs, new dashboard. I could also import data from all of the system over here. You have Excel, CSV, Google Sheets, even Asana if you want to incorporate or collaborate both Monday.com and Asana together, Trello, Basecamp, and all of this other option over here. There's also other apps over here or you could add a new form or a new folder. Let's say I would like to add a new product. I guess if we click on single project over here and I will be able to create a new project as you can see here on this pop-up over here, we will be able to know that our project is being created. Our project is going to look similarly do like this. As you can see, you have your main table, done, task assigned to me, and project dashboard over here. You can add more things that you could view by clicking this option over here. And these are the different things that you could view. You have your calendar, Kanban, files, gallery, form, blank view, and other apps over here. As you can see here right now on our main table, this is where you can see the different tasks. You have task one, task two. This is where you're going to be putting your different tasks. You could edit the name of the task by simply clicking on the name over here and you can name it to however you would like. And then over here, you could start a conversation with someone that is assigned to the specific task. You simply click this and you can begin a conversation with them. You can see you have your updates, you could add files, GIF, emoji, and you could even mention your different team members. You can also click here, as you can see, the owner. When you click on plus, you will be able to add different members or different teams to the specific task that is right now over here available you can also see here also the status when you click this you could change it to all of this option over here yeah i'm working on it stuff feature steps and you can also create your own labels by clicking on edit labels as you can see you could create and add a new label you could choose a specific color that you would like to have for that specific color and you can simply select it after you're done with it as you can see there we go and you will be able to see like a progress bar over here below as well that will show all the progress over here on all the tasks under this and you have your timeline over here you can click this and then you can select the specific timeline that you would like to have it as a deadline and you can select the dates you have your durations over here you can change this to how long you want you have your dependent over here you can click this and you can add more tasks related to a specific task and scrolling down here you have plan effort effort spent completion days and completion status over here you can add a lot more things so that you could view a lot more things in your specific task. You could also click on add column and you could also view all of these options over here that you would like to see. Depending on how you would like your different tasks to be presented, you could edit them as well. You click on the three dots to remove specific sections that you don't want to see. For example, this dependent on over here. You could delete that and you could delete that specific section that you don't want to see. There we go. And you can also have different groups of task over here as you can see you have your execution planning and even launch over here you can add a new group by clicking this option and you will be able to have a new group of tasks that you could name as well and 
You could also check out your gun over here. When you click this, you will be able to see a gun chart on the different tasks as you can see here. And you have your task assigned to. And right now we don't have any and your project dashboard. And that's the most simplest or that's a simple tour of our monday.com projects. That is how you will be able to see your different tasks. Now going to Asana, as you can see, to be honest, I think I like the UI of Asana much more than monday.com. Although this is beautiful, this is more pleasing to the eye. It's, as you can see here, very similar with monday.com. You have your list, your board, your timeline, calendar, workflow, and dashboard and messages and files over here. Almost all the features are all in one area over here. You have your to-do sections over here, your task name, signing, due date, priority, and status. You can also add field over here so that you can see what you would like to see. As you can see, you have your dates, people, text, number, and formula over here. There's more settings to the field that you could add, as you can see here. And you have your specific task. You can edit the name of the task by clicking on the title. There we go. And you can also rearrange them. You can move the task between sections. The sections are basically similar to groups in monday.com. And you could move them around. For example, you have here your to do, doing, and done. You could move it. And you can move it to doing. And as you can see, you will be able to, to move that specific task to a different section or a different group. You also see the priority option over here. You can change the priority and the status over here, like on track, at risk, or off track over here. You could edit the option and you could add another field text over here, like done. And you can single select it. And you could add this, save changes. And you will be able to see the option. Let's see, let's do it again. I think we may get a mistake. We have, uh, I think we, we changed the name of the field text over here. So let's do it again. Edit option, and let's change this to status. And let's simply add an option over here, like done. There we go, then let's change the color to color green. There we go, save changes. And now we have a done option over here. And you can do this to all the different tasks that you have. You can add tasks by simply clicking on add task over here. You can also customize your this over here by clicking this customize option over here. You can add different fields, rules, apps, forms task templates and bundles into your project over here over here on the left side you can check out your task as well everything that is assigned to you specifically you have a list over here a board view calendar view and even the files attached to the different tasks there's also reporting over here portfolios goals and the project that you are working on you can add more project by clicking this option over here you can add a new project or a new portfolio and you can name the board portfolio by saying project and create portfolio and as you can see we will be able to have a new portfolio section in asana that you could actually add work and different things as well as you can see here you can add more projects if you want you can click this you can add new projects so as you can see blank projects use template or you can invent import spreadsheet from another tool as you can see here this is what it would look like you could create a list you could create a board version a timeline a calendar and that basically it those are the different things that you could work with although depending on the default view this is just the default view you will be able to see this version as well on the current task that you have as you can see here on the top you have your board you're going to see the same thing timeline you see here it's going to take a while but you know what the timeline looks like you have your calendar workflow and messages and files over here now I, can't, I think the biggest difference between monday.com is Asana is that monday.com has a lot more features. It's more flexible and you can see more information about your different tasks as, as the status over here. You can see you have these options over here. Like you can see more information. The way you could edit the different tasks is much more than Asana over here. To be honest, I think there is much more features that is available in monday.com than in Asana. Although both of them are great, Monday.com is the better version for me because even though you have a system over here like projects, you could have different applications or different versions of Monday.com as well. You're not limited to task management or project management just like in Asana. And that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.